it is a block day welcome or welcome back to my green pasture in this video we will be showing you the best material for building a house there will also be some twists and turns for the inspector and a little friendly competition against the children but let's start with this but i realize i haven't taken any pictures of all the blocks we're sitting at so i'll take a few pictures but we have a lot of workers on the job site today a lot a lot of workers just getting done make sure i don't slip on the mud busy job site this a.m. but I'll go up there in a second to show you that we came by oh, and measured out I might be able to show you one okay I can show you one here now we came by and measured out the openings for all the windows and doors hola this is one of the many duties of being an owner builder we are our own contractors so we are the ones on site making sure that all the projects are being done so we're not that late usually I'm later so because they're just situated. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're stacking the blocks. They're stacking the blocks in order of how they need them, so to speak. Because they were all really just stacked in the middle to begin with. No. So I don't know how long this project will take today. But the house is going up. At least the first floor. So what's interesting is I'm going around and doing this walkthrough and talking to you. And Terry is on his phone doing the exact same thing so i'm going to pop in his footage let me know who does a better job at documenting the process he's he's doing a whole bunch of stuff about directions and this that and the other let's vote on this one in the comment section we are starting uh, laying the blocks this morning this is the beginning of the blocks lay let's see how far we can go today uh, these guys they are fast they do not play they move very fast. So let's see how long and how far. How long they're gonna work today and how far they going to get. They start early before the sunrise. We can see right now the sun is uh, coming up and very soon here it's gonna get very hot. So that's why they always start early. When they got here like uh, when we got here at seven, they were already here. So they were getting ready getting prepared to get this thing going to get this party started how did they start on the garage side the west side of the house and this is the north side of the house there's a lot of dust or smoke however you want to call it going up and they are working so that was his audio and video and i'll pop one of mine again here so you can see the quality of my audio and video mind you we're using the exact same type of phone so this is crazy but go ahead and vote and what he was referencing if you look over in the distance you can see that dust that's because they are cutting some pieces of the cinder blocks so they can put them in specific spots so there's a lot of dust up in the air okay we are at the front of the house there were so many people here earlier so i'm just going to do a quick little walk around the property so you can see how high this thing is it is massive it's massive it is gonna go higher it's blowing up more yeah bud I'm so excited right now. I can't even hide it. That's a big window in our little area there. It's is, it, is it gonna stay that size? It's gonna close in a little bit. Storm is coming. It's gonna close in a little bit, but it's still gonna be pretty big, which is good, which is very good. In our patio, one day we'll have a pool right there and we could just jump in. How, are, how excited are you that this is all coming together on mommy's birthday? That much excited? That's a lot of no, excited. excitement. Yep. Cool beans, cool, cool beans. That's where you're gonna be having breakfast in that little nook area. Okay, so now I get it. Window there, window there, and window on the side. I have to slow it down because the casement window that he requests is what we end up getting. So be sure to subscribe so you can see when we install them. You got it, bud. No, we're not getting one of those windows. This one I decided, I mean, like, whoop, whoop. No. That would have been super cool. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness, I'm about to cry. Me too. This is so emotional for me. We're finally going to have a house. <laughs> that door is huge, isn't it? It is huge. It is taller than daddy. This is what happened to us. Ooh, ooh, let me see it. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> You're a funny kid. Very funny kid. All right, look at that. Look at that. All right, so I'm making my way back to the front of the property. It's gonna rain again. So we're at the front. Hey, boy. We're at the front. Here we are, it's so exciting. Alrighty. As I'm editing, I realized neither Terry nor I got any footages of them putting up these lentils right here. And lentils are basically horizontal beams that spans openings, windows, and passageways that add extra support. And then we end up with a hiccup with where the blocks ended for the first floor too. We'll chat about that more in a little bit. Look at Terry working. Look at you. Yeah. Look at Safari Rose. Look, look at, at me. Safari. Look at Jabari. And look at Daddy. Look at, me. look at my boo. Putting in work, 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 work. Oh, you still have good side of the garage? Even in the garage? Oh, wow. Good times and good friends like my sister friend, Cameron, that came by to visit and show her support. And we also had some out of town guests that we took over to seat to table, the Patriot watering hole. And there's nothing like cutting up some coconuts for fresh coconut water for a big race. Do you see these kids are challenging me to a race and one got knocked over? Yes, that's Rastafari. He was not too happy. But that that comes with the territory, right? Like I felt bad about it. Go. Go. <laughs> are you one of those people that just let kids win competition race games are you i'm not going to judge you i just want to know inspection day somebody's upset inspection day all the workers are here all the little people looking around are there like specific amounts of them per plan? Yeah. Oh, cool. You gotta, have, you gotta have them along each window. It makes okay. it solid. They pour that full of concrete. Okay. So it's a solid, really about every four feet. But whatever is like columns and stuff. That, okay. It's, that, that, wherever these are, you're gonna have solid concrete all the way up. Oh, okay. So when they pour that tie beam in, uh -huh. this is getting filled too. All the way, so, yeah. okay. No worries in this house if a hurricane comes. Oh no, not at all. No. Solid. I'll walk around with you. Ooh. Sometimes okay. they forget stop, to put stop, them in. And we should catch it at the when we do the slab. Oh, Ooh, sometimes okay. Sometimes we miss one. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why we double check it now. To make sure. So the one that other section never finished. Yeah, the foundation, the structural one, there's always like, right. you keep going, keep adding to it. Be careful. So, so these, these are going to go all the way up. So the same ones from the bottom of the foundation. Like one of them stubs out of the foundation? Yeah. The one they drop down from the top, they tie here and they tie up top to the steel. So it just keeps across. going. Yep, so the steel's all connected. Okay. And then it's connected to the footer. So mm -hmm. if you get any uplift, everything's tied from the tied. top down. Tied. Tied. So it all lifts together. Right. Okay. Mm. Makes sense. That makes it strong. Yeah. And you're right, it went all the way down from the footers. Right. I remember yeah. now. They tie that, it's hooked like this, and they tie, tie it, it to the bottom footer. footer. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Solid. It's solid all the way up and down. Love it. And I have like friends that um, follow me online and we've been kind of like going through the process, uh -huh. but a lot of them are up north and they're like, oh, you guys have like a concrete house. We're used to stick build house. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I'm, that's where I'm having trouble. I was a carpenter up there for 35 years. Yeah, so. so I, this is all new to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's good. Great. It's good. Yeah. Build a house like this up there. That'd be good too. Tornadoes up Wouldn't there. it be? Oh. I think some people say it's because of the cold. No, the I mean, is, you got eight inches. And half of it's solid. Mm -hmm. you still insulate that wall from the inside. Right. It would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I think it's cheaper too. To, to do yeah, stick. Lumber, oh yeah. Lumber has tripled. Oh yeah. Price. Right now, oh yeah, we know Your because with our truck, for our trust. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, we were like on edge because every week it was like going up, going up. There's no reason for it. I mean, so we continue chatting it up about what's impacting the price of lumber 
and things that are happening in the world. You see the kiddos in the background. But then we also found out that there were some structural things that he wanted us to really consider what direction we wanted to go in and what changes we wanted to make per our plans. And that's the beauty of being an owner builder. You can request your changes on your own and do what you need. Okay, so this is what we want to get the letter for. We want the letter to show that. And this would be a letter from our engineer to the county. This part right here in the front like covered porch area here does not need a tie beam that the garage the entire encasing of the garage does not need a tie beam which is a beam that you use to basically tie the first and second floor so you can prevent bucking or leaning and then in the back here we want the letter to show that the back patio does not need a tie beam here for the back patio and of course we can kind of go from there thank you so what do you do in between waiting for the engineer to draft up the letter and the county to revise it you have your family over so we had our cousin Shelly come by to visit and then we had our friends Christelle and Bruce come by with their beautiful boys and then we did a nature walk around the property but around that same time I got a tandem bike so the boys clearly have no problems jumping right on but Christelle and I mm, I'll let you see that and you probably remember her from the foundations part one video I'll link it above if you haven't seen it Terry, can you stop recording so we can at least get going? No. Okay, wait. <laughs> Woo! Y'all don't want to start on the main road? <laughs> yeah, y'all don't want to start over there? <laughs> I just don't need everybody. Oh, yep, like it. that. Chris, don't keep your foot up like that and let him do the balance. Okay, all right. Y'all see your bike? Oh. Okay, Terry, help me get on first. <laughs> Give it straight. <laughs> Give it straight. <laughs> All the fun was had. We researched several tandem bikes and finally decided on this one. We went ahead and linked it in the description for where we it. found the best price for it. You can go ahead and check it out and hopefully I'll see you all on the roads one day with your tandem bike. I'd love to hear about it. Look at you. Like a pool. All right, so you know we had to take two blocks down because we had it with a I think lintel, a bomb beam, kind of like what you see underneath the garage right there and underneath the front right there and right there. But now oh. we switched it to having a um we have to do these tie beams, so they're gonna have to pour concrete all the way from up here. So we only decided to do it around the solid structures of the house. Well, this is solid too, but there won't be a second story at the top of it. So now they're putting rebar in between to reinforce it when the, hey, I'm all right, how are you? To reinforce it, so this is what's happening. I gave you more work to do, huh? Yeah, I know you guys love me. I'm like your, your favorite person ever. So now <laughs> instead of the blocks going up, it has that tie beam. They're putting the rebar in for added support when they pour the concrete. So this makes the house um, more structurally sound. So over here, we didn't take that beam out, right? The, the, the part that connects, we didn't take that out, right? Huh? It's underneath, so it won't matter, right? Yeah, I figured. All right. So they kind of encase it. We opted out of doing it on the patio and just decided to do it because this is a two-story patio so we opted out of doing that but this is the progress that's happening right now in this house so just all this good stuff happening super excited be careful okay and yeah this is, this is what's happening okay quick little walk through this is what the tie beam situation it's a lot more work as you can see because they had to go through and tie all these things together to make sure because that's where the cement is going to be poured through these areas to make sure that there's like a band around the house to keep it all structurally together so looks good good stuff good stuff is happening here Cement pouring day for the field cells. So, hello, how are you doing? Good, good. So we are pouring our cement today. So we have our guys here working. Let's check it out, see what they're up to. Hey! Beautiful day to be pumping. Hola! 
How you doing? Good, good. Almost done, eh? Really? What time do you guys start? Oh, really? Huh. And I'm thinking I'm late. <laughs> Let me get up there to see what you do. No, I'm joking. I'm good. <laughs> I know, I know. You know what? I might climb a little bit. Let's see this one-handed climb. Okay. So I if you know me, you know I'm afraid of heights, so I really don't know why I decided to climb up this thing. And you hear that yeah. rattling? Oh, Lord. That's good? Okay. So, if I fall, you know, I can't sue anybody because it's my house. So I'm just gonna have to fall and deal with being fallen. So you get to watch me climb. Oh, oh, it's wobbling. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I forgot I was afraid of heights. Lord have mercy. Oh, oh, okay. So I just stuck my hand in here because I didn't realize this side was already done. So, imagine if you will, we are pouring and they've already poured up the top here. And they've poured all around there. And this is setting the stage for our first floor and then we'll have a second floor. So um, does this cement go all the way down to the ground? It goes all the way down? So every cell is technically filled? Oh wow. So here we go. This is the view from up here. So imagine, this is the view we're getting from the top of the first floor and it still goes a lot higher. What do you mean? Is it going all the way to the ground? Well, not to the ground, of course. The finished floor, yeah, because the other part is already solid. Yeah. So where the guy in the red is standing, we'll have another patio on top there. So this view that I'm getting from here is gonna be the view from the one of the, up, the upstairs patio area. So I'm glad to be able to show you this update. Our front entry area and then our front porch. So all this good stuff is happening right now. Super excited to be here. And we have friends visiting, another win for today. We have friends that are visiting with their camper from Michigan that are here traveling, getting away from the winter over there. And we're blessed to be able to have hook up for them. We have their like power and water and all that jazz. So this is why we wanted to be in this space and have all of this land and home to be able to accommodate our tribe, our people, and have them come visit and be out in nature and all the things. And God is so, so good. Like, I'm about to cry right now because everything's coming to life. So imagine literally sketching, um, imagine literally sketching this out and having a dream for what the property would look like and knowing that you want to have a garden and you want to be able to have animals and a pond and a pool one day and just dreaming that up. That's what I want for everyone. That's what I want you to be able to look out into this green space and create those greener pastures for yourself. So this is a little glimpse into Greener Pastures Estates and you can see while things are literally unfolding right before our eyes, I'm a little nervous being up here, but wanted to show you our concrete. I'm just gonna walk through here with you all. Be careful, little girl. You okay? They made some water in here. They did make some water in here. Made it a little muddy, huh? So, yeah, they did make it muddy. So I'm going to go back up again just to see how far. Where did I leave my keys? Oh my word, okay, let me put that down there. Okay, just to see how far. Y'all see my little mini me? Yeah, cross over. Okay, I'm going back up again. Huh? No, you can't come up there, okay? Up here, okay? Huh? Can you what? Sit? Check? Can you check with me? Girl, mm -mm. I cannot replace kids. No, you cannot. You cannot. You better. You're gonna go where? I don't think so, Safari Rose. Ooh, this is shaking, Safari Rose. It's making me a little nervous, girl. Ooh. Let you see what? Is he up there? No, I said you're gonna make me fall. Okay, dirt will get in your eye because of where you are. Okay, they're not done yet. Okay. Okay, I think this is high enough for me. Safari Rose, what are you doing? Huh? You don't know? So we still have that side right there and those smaller areas to pour. Let me see if I go. Oh, nope. Look at her trying to look out the window. This is good. Good things are happening. Still working. Sun is, sun is set over there, but they're still working. Actually cleaning up now, trying to end this work day. Let me see how close I can get without getting too wet. Whoop. 
so much going on over here. Let me work my way around this way. So we've officially made the house as solid as we can. And they're just cleaning up all their things so they can head out. You're done. This is my masonry guy. So we got the muted because I'd love to hear your guess on what I told him will be happening next. Once they're delivered, we'll get that done. So this is solid and it doesn't take long to dry. It doesn't take long, it's gonna dry and we're gonna be good to go. So they just poured this side. This side was poured earlier. Let's see, some of this still, oh, that, that's actually dry already. So we have solid walls, officially. First floor is solid. Super, super excited. All of this. And of course the Dorval Dynasty and the Shaw sisters had to check out all the work. A lot of concrete going into this thing, but we're getting it done. And like I said, the sun is setting on that side. It's about to get dark out here. Can you imagine once that patio is up and being able to watch that sunset being out here? Beautiful, just love it here. All those dreams are coming true. All those dreams are coming true. And we have solid walls now. Let me know in the comments what do you think is coming next. Thank you for watching this video about the best material for building a house. Also, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, check out some of our previous videos, and we'll see you in the next one.